Okay, so in the last video, we took down one node, and not much happened. We took down one compute node uh, from our environments. Let's just go take a look. Uh, hypervisors. Ah. We took down this guy. Everything stayed up and running. No big deal. So now we're going to reverse this. So I have set both of my instances, my VMs, just pinging the gateway, just so there's a little activity on here. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to start killing nodes and see how long these take to die. Uh, my guess is, so would, if you remember at the beginning when we installed this, uh, when we installed OpenStack, it said you needed at least, I don't know, five nodes or something like that. So I'm guessing when we get down to five, we have six right now, uh, we kill one, probably okay, we kill two, they're probably going to disappear. So let's just see, for an experiment, how long it takes these nodes to go down. So let's bring up Maz real quick, and let's kill that node that we killed in the other video. So 156, we know we can survive without him. Okay, and let's pick another compute node to attack here. Uh, let's go back to landscape or dashboard. Let's take down the other DC7900, the second one there. Maz, that guy. He's on 153. Oh, he's still going down. Okay, 153. Let's shut him down too. Now, if you had a ton of nodes, I have no idea how many you could run redundant, but these are shutting down, and it appears that my VM instances are still going for the time. Let's give it another minute, see if they continue. Well, seems like we're still running to me. One fifty three is down. One fifty six is down. So, might be a little more redundant than we think it is. Even though we only actually have four compute nodes, I've still got these nodes still running. So, why stop now? Uh, let's go back here. So, let's kill four. This guy, node 4, 780, he's on 155. He's still up. I'm guessing that's going to be the nail in the coffin right there. There they go. Can't survive on just one node. So what did we end up with here? So we ended up standing. We killed three nodes. Well, so here's a good question. So OpenStack seems to stack all of your eggs in one basket at the GUI level. I know it's not, because this thing only has two CPUs, so it's not going to have four CPUs. So, maybe if I would have killed the second one instead, uh, it would have survived. But this dashboard's down now, because it lives on one of these nodes. See, 121. I believe it lives on node 4. 
So node 4, 121. See, it lives right there. So maybe if I would have killed node 2, it wouldn't have been an issue. So let's bring node 4 back up and get the GUI going again. So node 4, let's uh, send him an either wake packet. to his ETH1 interface. Wake him up. Still not up. Okay, so he's back. It's gonna take him a minute to spin back up. But we can tell by our OpenStack GUI if he comes back up. It's not up yet. Okay, so the GUI's back, so it's probably a good sign that the node's back. I've had this happen before, actually. Let's give it another second. Yeah. So I'm going to pause the video. I want to bring those other two nodes back up. We'll give it another try. Okay, I brought the other two nodes back up. Let's see if we can log in now. Still giving us the same problem. But they might not be up fully. We still got computers down. So which ones are compl it's complaining about the the containers because they haven't come out completely yet. That's fine. Okay, so all the computers are back up now. Uh, let's go back to landscape here. Uh, all the alerts went away. And we can get back into the OpenStack dashboard. And it looks exactly like it did before. Let's confirm that we can get back into the VMs. It looks like we can't, so let's just to make sure, let's close the putty window and open another one. So you still can't get into the VMs. It may have corrupted them. I think this is just going to give us a log of the last time it spun up, or it might not give us anything. It can't even connect to the to the VM to give us a log. Let's do a hard reboot. On these. We'll do Joe's too. Just because we're not testing with it, but if we're impacted on these two, he's impacted too. So let's find out when is this log. That's today. We're having network issues. 
that six. So it looks like Dyer came back just fine. Let's see if we can get back into him. Who is he? He's three. Had to reboot him. Ah, so Dyer's back. How about my server? He kind of, he looks ugly. But it might have just been a timing issue. So my VM's still having a hard time. Let's check see if Joe's came up clean. See, Joe's is fine. I think we just have a problem with the, I've, I really abused this VM anyway. I'm gonna let him come up. Okay, so the node came back up, but I'm pretty sure all those network errors, uh, we won't be able to get to it. Let's try to spin it back up. Yeah, it's still dead. Okay, so rather than spend all day trying to figure out why that node didn't come back, I just rec I just terminated it and recreated another one. Let's stick a yeah. So we're back to where we were. All the nodes are up. We can create instances. Uh, everything's good. Now, both of these nodes are back up. Start them pinging something again. Okay, so those nodes are back up. We're good. Now, the question I had was if you go in to admin and you look at your hypervisors it always says that this one is the one that actually owns these vCPUs uh, I closed this one down I'm wondering if I would have closed this one if they would have stayed up so let's try that I know we're really abusing this thing but that's what it's here for we're here to test so let's back up let's go to our cheat sheet that's what it's here for uh, we could probably do it from here so I want to kill these two and that one. So 153. Let's take him down. Okay, he's going down. And I want to take. 156 down. Okay, so we're still surviving with those two nodes down. That's not an issue. Now, if you had more VMs and, and things were heavily populated, probably couldn't do this. So those two nodes are done. Um, now last time, remember we took this one down. Let's take the second one down and see what he does. What's his IP? 154. What I'm trying to prove here is, is it the fact that we can only run on, two, we have to have two compute nodes up at all times? Or is it the fact that that uh, node four compute node is in control of those? Uh, VCPUs and we just can't take that one down so we're gonna find out here real quick now these VMs should die fall on their face if we in fact have to have those nodes I'm guessing they would have already died okay so here's what we've learned you don't have to have 
all of these nodes. You just have to have the one that is controlling those CPUs at this time. Uh, it's got all three of those instances on it, uh, which it's actually spreading them uh, out between all of the CPUs, but obviously it controls these. So node four, let's go out to Juju and see just so what what's so special about that machine. Let's go to machines. Uh, let's go back. It's a little easier to tell. So Nova Compute. That's node. So there's node four. It's actually node zero. It's got the OpenStack dashboard, but it's also got Cinder on it. And that's the main machine, the Machine Zero, where the GUI and everything's installed. So the VMs will live without that, without these machines, but you have to have Compute Node Zero. My guess is is because it has Cinder on it. So there you go, VM still running. I'm sure uh, landscape is already starting to complain. Not yet. So in this video, we took down three nodes. We did kill a, a VM, but that might have been an unrelated issue. You can see the uh, OpenStack GUI is croaking. So you're going to have bad results. I mean, they think bad things are going to happen, but your VMs will keep clicking away, and that's really the most important part. So I'm going to bring these nodes, these nodes back up, and everything should return to normal. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, hope that helps. Just kind of show you what happens when catastrophes happen. <laughs> All right, thanks.